Hey guys, my name is Ben Salstrom. Thanks for stopping by. This video is about what you're going to need to wire an electric range and to uh, do the rough in all the way to uh, what you'll eventually need to plug the stove in. So uh, we'll just show you what you're going to need. This is for new construction if you're going to be pulling the uh, wires all the way from the panel. We're starting with right here uh, what will be mounted in the panel. Uh, most ranges are either 40 or 50 amps. 50 amps is kind of the industry standard though. So a 50 amp, 50 amp uh, double pole breaker is what you're going to need uh, for uh, powering the stove. This is going to go on your panel. So depending on what brand of panel you have, you will have a little bit of variance. This does not need to be ground fault by code. So you can have a standard breaker for that. And then uh, moving on to the wire, we're going to need a 6-3 gauge wire. So here we go or 6-3 which means three conductors with ground so you'll actually have a total of four wires inside of the cable. You'll of course need some staples uh, for stapling this to the joist or however you're going to be running your cable. Make sure you get ones that are wide enough and don't use the narrow standard ones. I think you'll want to get three quarter inch. So you're going to be coming to your box. Now they have specific boxes that are a double box. You're going to want a double um, box for sure. Don't try to cram this into a single. And uh, they have ones that are specific that have a little cutout on one side with a clamp built into the box. If you want to go for that, you can. Uh, for me, I'd rather just take a standard box and I'm going to drill a hole in here that's big enough for my three quarter inch cable connector and that's going to just uh, lightly squeeze onto the cable to hold it into position. Make sure you get one that's big enough and like I said these ones are three quarter inch. <clears throat> Finally I would suggest getting your uh, receptacle plug right away uh, just so that you have it so that when you're um, cutting your hole in your in the side of your box to pull your wire into it that you can kind of see how all of these terminals are going to line up. Now you're going to want to get the plug that has four prongs this is your standard four prong 50 amp uh, range receptacle plug. Um, if you had an existing uh, range that only had three wires, you would get the old, older style and just make sure you get the same one. But for pulling new wire, this is what you're going to be looking at. And uh, that's how the wires, three of them come in directly on one side and one right down over there. Uh, and that is the, the ground, I believe. Uh, but that is what you're going to need and uh, this box then once it's mounted in the wall this will just sit right over the top like that and then you have a cover plate that goes directly over that just like your standard receptacle so this is going to be mounted to the side of the stud just like I have this one here uh, mounted so it's just going to be cut out around it with the sheetrock. So that's what you'll need for pulling wire, your, your, the breaker you'll need in your panel, uh, everything that should be required for getting uh, an electric range ready to go uh, at the rough end stage. And uh, that pretty much explains it all the way through too. So hope you like this video. If it helped you out, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe to the tr channel. And uh, I'll do my best to upload helpful information on a semi-regular basis. Talk to you in the next video.